Welcome to the Sandler Sales and Sales Leadership Thought of the Day. Now, maybe you're wondering, uh, what's with the rubber chicken today? I don't know if this has ever happened to you, maybe in a sales interview at one point in your life, somebody said, hey, uh, sell me the pen. And then you had to figure out, oh my God, what does he really want me to say? Does he want me to overcome objections? Does he want me to, to give a compelling argument about why he needs a pen? Um, I don't know, you know, it's just an object, right? What do you need a pen for? And, and same thing with the rubber chicken. Really, on the end of the day, who needs a rubber chicken? What are they gonna do with the rubber chicken? What makes them think they'd even consider buying a rubber chicken? What, what problem is the rubber chicken going to solve for them? At the end of the day, um, you know, what's it really going to do? So a lot of times in sales, those are the questions we really need to be asking. It's not, it's not the features, benefits, you know, of the product or services that you're selling that really matters. It's what problem are you truly trying to solve? So the next time somebody brings a rubber chicken to an interview and says, sell me the rubber chicken, maybe the better way to start is, Bill, I'm not even sure why you need a rubber chicken. Maybe you could tell me a little bit about your organization, yourself, what you're going through. Share a little bit with me about why you think a rubber chicken could be the solution. And at the end of it, if, if there's a reason for us to, to sell you some of those rubber chickens, you know, I'm happy to do so. But, uh, you know, maybe there's no reason at all and you don't really need them. Uh, can we agree on that? If you were to take that approach in your next sales call when somebody says, why should I buy from you? Or, you know, what makes you different? Or any of that stuff. And they try to control your sales process, regain control. It's your sales process. You just happen to be having it in their environment. Make sure that you find out why they want something. What, what's the purpose behind it? Why do they think they even need it? And only then start solving those problems. Find the problem, solve the problem. So buddy, that makes sense to you. Uh, feel free to reach out, uh, crash your class. We would love to have you out as a guest. Um, alternatively, we're having another webinar coming up soon. Uh, look on our website. You can find the information on that. And uh, yeah, love to hear from you.